Hello and welcome to a new episode. Is it possible to combine high efficiency, easy usability and a high transparency of operation data? We will give you the answer. My name is Fabian, have fun. Today in my studio, our product manager for H&AC, Jörg. The pump in front of me, the Velo Stratos Giga 2.0i. What does it mean, 2.0? Is it just a software update? Hi Fabian, you can have the impression on that, but firstly we have to mention that this is an improvement of the today's Stratos Giga in terms of usability, in terms of control modes, mm -hmm. and for, for that we're using 2.0. In addition, it is a smart pump, and by this it is a big partner of the Stratos Maxo. And this I means Uh, single pump and the D, this is also existing, stands for double pump. That's clear. When I think about the wording Giga, from my point of view, I think it's uh, just for big buildings. Am I right? Yes, you're right. That's not the single family house. That's more used for production facilities. That's for office buildings. That's for hospitals or also for stadiums. That are all buildings where you need a lot of heat and a lot of uh, air conditioning. Mm. And by that, you need a high volume flow rate. And for that, exactly, you can use the Stratos Giga 2.0, mm. which is also very interesting for buildings which have to be certified for like DGNB or, or LEED. Mm -hmm. And uh, often when we talk about big buildings, we have a lot of challenges. What are the typical challenges? Yeah, the typical challenges are, of course, energy costs. We are, we are talking about high, high electricity uh, volumes behind that. That's a question of costs. Uh, for that, the pumps must be optim optimal set up so that we can use the whole and energy efficiency behind that. And finally, it is important to have a transparency about the pump operating data, mm -hmm. but also about the system operating data. Okay. Could you give us a quick overview about the benefits for the different target groups? Yeah, in fact, we have different target groups in this in this business. So, firstly, we have uh, the the operator. Mm -hmm. For for him, it is very important to have uh, a high en energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. Then we have the installer, and he must be able to to set up the pump in an easiest way. And thirdly, we have the consultant, and for him, it is important to have a transparent view in into the operating data of the mm -hmm. pump and the system. That is a perfect overview. Let us start with the first one: energy efficiency. Yeah, energy, energy efficiency, we can consider the whole pump. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, taken into different parts. So we have firstly the pump hydraulic, which is a proven one and very efficient with an MEI higher than 0.7. Mm -hmm. In addition, we are using an IE5 EC motor, which is also a proven uh, motor technology. And in addition, we have a quite new frequency converter on, on board here, where we have innovative control modes like multi-flow adaptation included. And all this together combined Uh, is, a, is a high efficiency pump. You said that there's a control mode called uh, multi-flow adaptation. Are there some other control modes available? Yeah, there are different ones. So firstly, I have to mention Dynamic Adapt Plus. In this control mode, you don't need, in the opposite to Delta PV, you don't need to put the set point. Mm -hmm. The pump is uh, finding that by himself and that's important for, for uh, pressure changing systems. Mm -hmm. Then we have this multi-flow adaptation, which I have already mentioned. That works in that way that we have the Stratos Giga 2.0 as supply pump to a manifold. Mm -hmm. And on that manifold, there are different other pumps and they are connected with the Stratos Giga 2.0 and provide their individual required volume flows. Mm -hmm. And the supply pump is providing exactly this required summarized volume flow. Mm -hmm. So this pump, uh, the system is then in a very good balance and that saves energy. Yeah. Is it possible to combine our Velo Stratos Giga 2.0, for example, with the Stratos Maxo? Yeah, that's possible. With the Velo Net, we can do the combination and they can, they can communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. And additionally, I have to mention, we have uh, the, the additional function, which is called Q-Limit. And this can be used, for example, in heat generator circuits, where you have a minimum or you need to, uh, need to, to provide a minimum volume flow. Mm -hmm. And this could be set up with a pump. Okay. How is it possible to set the control modes in an easy way? So it's important for the installer that the pump can be set up very easily so that we can reach the optimal setup. Mm -hmm. For that, we firstly use the green knob, which is well known for Velo pumps since years. Okay. In addition, we have a very big display with a clear menu structure and self-explaining. Mm -hmm. And in that display, we have a, 
application-oriented setup guide so that the installer is able to set up the pump according to a specific system. Yeah. Now I need more information. Yes, I will show you. I start at the home screen, then I walk to the settings, and then I go into the set auto control. And with a click, I'm coming to the setting assistant with the applications. And then I go to the ceiling cooling and set up Dynamic Adapt Plus. That brings me to the last benefit, high transparency. A lot of people think when you have a lot of operation data, you need a big Excel list. What is the solution when we take a look at our Stratos Giga 2.0? That's exactly a bit, a bit different. So firstly, I have to say we have different uh, uh, interfaces on the pump, on the electronic module. Mm -hmm. And with this, we have the opportunity to con connect the pump to the building management system, which is something you can find very often in uh, such big buildings, uh, which we have mentioned already. Okay. Is it possible to use uh, a PT-1000? Also, exactly. You can, you can connect directly a PT-1000 sensor to, to get the, the fluid temperature directly to the pump. And beside the temperature of the temperatures, you can also get the volume flow, the heat flow and mm -hmm. all, the, all those data points which are stored permanently inside the electronic module of the pump. Okay. And then in a, in a later step, you can, you can use the Smart Connect function within our Velo Assistant app, which mm -hmm. is well known to read out the data with a Bluetooth uh, interface. This okay. interface you can find directly here below the surface. Okay. That's for the local solution. And in addition, you can, you can combine or connect the pump with a smart gateway. And with this, you could set up a remote access. And then the planner or the consultant would be able to, to reach the pump via the internet to analyze the data, although also with using the Velo Assistant app. Okay, and he's sitting in his office. He's sitting in his office. He Perfect. don't have to drive to, to, to the building site. Yeah, I'm so happy that there's no boring Excelist. <laughs> <laughs> Jörg, thank you very much for all the information and the great answer that it's possible to use one pump to combine energy efficiency with the easy usability and of course a high transparency without an Excel list for operation data. Great. You're welcome. And for you, thank you for watching. If you have any question, please contact us or use our YouTube channel Velo Group and stay tuned for new videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.